up. And today we about to make a creamy spinach artichoke dip. Now is it spinach artichoke dip or is it spinach and artichoke dip? I got questions, you know? Either way, that's what it is. That's what we make. You see it. You see it. So first off, I started off by chopping up some garlic because I love, love, love fresh garlic in my spinach dips because I do make a lot of, I make spinach dips a lot because it's the perfect snack. Like lunch breaks, just any, I'm a snacker. Okay. If you know, you know, I'm a snacker. I get it from my mom. Like I, I love a good snack. I don't have, I don't usually have like a huge appetite. So that's why I prefer snacks. It just works better for me. So then I chopped up an onion. I chopped it up myself. I didn't put that in the vegetable chopper. Chopped up an onion because I these two are my staples when it comes to my spinach dips. And it smells so, they smell so good together. Onion and garlic. Mm, it's a beautiful aroma. I wish you could smell it. Now, we're going to get into the artichokes. Because I do not like when I get some spinach or artichoke dip from like a restaurant or something. And they got whole artichokes in there. That let me know you ain't doing what you need to be doing. If you prefer it to be whole that's you that's 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 on you you know what i'm saying if you want to do that you do that you do that it's just not for me i just like to chop mine up a little bit because i don't want to get a, a spoonful of a or a, a chip full and it's a whole artichoke on that thing no mm -mm. it's not giving no so that's all i'm doing here just chopping it up until i feel like it's enough mm -hmm. that's it now we're going to get into combining everything, okay? So this is just the garlic and the onion being combined. Well, not combined, but I'm adding it to the mixing bowl where every where the magic about to happen, okay? This is where the magic about to happen. <laughs> Woo! But yeah. <laughs> so then after I added the onion and the garlic, I added in that frozen spinach. Make sure you drain it. Make sure you wipe it off with a paper towel everything you gotta do because if you cook it yourself either way your spinach needs to be drained in no liquid okay so then i added in i'm gonna be adding two full things of cream two and a half i'll say one and a half no one and a half things of cream cheese that was just one eight ounce block and then i added the artichokes in here basically i'm just adding everything in like adding everything in just kind of give it a little mix and mix and see where we at with the process Cause when I start off mixing, if let me know what's going on. Cause I didn't forget it, but I didn't forget the cheese. Don't worry about it. I did not forget the cheese. I just like to mix it up first, just kind of, cause it'd be all clumped up. And since it's gonna be kind of quite a bit in this bowl, I just wanted to make sure it was mixed. So this process, I'm just adding more cream cheese. I added sour cream and I added like a half a cup of mayo. Mm -hmm. But you know the ingredients gonna be at the bottom. Cheeses, the only ones I use are freshly grated pepper jack and freshly grated gouda. Because I love gouda cheese. Ooh, gouda cheese. I found out about gouda late, but I'm hip. I love gouda. Smoked gouda. Oh, it's hyper gouda. That might be one of my favorite cheeses, for real. Like, I, I ain't even know but I was a cheddar girl. You know what I'm saying? I still like a good smokehouse cheddar by, like, Sargento or something. But or maybe that's not Sargento. I don't know what brand it is. They got a smokehouse cheddar. That it's good. It's real. Ooh, it's good. I like shopping for cheese, like, cause I'm not. I like. I'm. I don't know. I like to use the different cheeses that everybody don't usually go for. Not to. I'm not a traditional cheddar girl. I like. Give me the Gouda. Give me the Gouda or the Munster. Okay. So okay, I did add two. Two full eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. I thought it was just one and a half, but. Too full because it started i wanted it to be a little thicker as i started mixing it you know what i'm saying so i was adding more cheese and i added another that other block of cream cheese and it was giving me the thickness that i need because I, I like mine i don't want my soup i don't like creamy because i i'm in i baked one maybe my first one it might have been my first one i did and it was just it was a little liquidy it was it was a little liquidy but you know as a spinach dip sits anyway it starts to thicken up so i just wanted this how i'm doing it now this is just my preferred method way okay just mix it all in the bowl and you get you seeing what's going on mix it in the bowl and then we're gonna be baking this so go ahead and get your oven preheated to 375 something like that we can do or 400 
you know? Because basically, we, I'm just trying to get a crispy top. Because really, you can really just broil it. No, no, no. Just cook it. Just cook it. Cook it for a little bit until it start like the 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 cheese start like kind of. Hold on. Let me let me talk about the seasoning. The seasonings, I am going to have at the bottom. Okay, I will have the seasonings at the bottom. Just so you don't don't fret. Don't fret about those seasonings, my pet. I'm gonna have it at the bottom. But um yeah, preheat your oven to like 400. Cause really we wanna kind of melt the cheese that's gonna be on the top and then. We gonna be putting it on broil to get the crispy top for a little bit, okay? So you gonna see. Let's just just stay tuned for the process. Now, like I said, I just added more cheese. I added the seasoning, season to your liking, season to taste, okay? Cause you, you better take a little thing of that and taste it. Either way, taste as you go. Cause if it don't taste right, do not put it in the oven yet. Don't put the thing in the oven until it tastes up to your standards, okay? We ain't doing that. You making this at home, so it need to be your liking. This ain't no restaurant. Do what you got to do. Okay. So heavily butter your cast iron skillet. If, if that's what you have. Just heavily butter whatever you baking this in. Heavily butter, heavily oil, heavily grease. Grease is the word. There you go. Heavily grease your skillet or baking dish or whatever your preference or choice of dish is on today. And at this point, I'm just making it pretty. You know, just flattening it out. Making it look real nice. Don't they look good already? I love spinach dip. Oh my god. Mm, I wish I had some right. I need to make some. I'm about to have to make some up. Because this was this this was an old video, but it was recent. But that, that spinach dip don't last in this house. Not for me. That's my snack. So now I'm just topping with the same cheese that I use inside the spinach dip. Some gouda and some pepper jack cheese. Now, that's optional. That's on you. But, you know, this is my video and my recipe. So, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to just show you what I did. Like I always say, I'm going to always show you what I did. Everything I did. Because I be forgetting sometimes, too. That's why when I be looking at these, I do the voiceover. I'm like, man, I did that. That's me. That's my hands. <laughs> so, this is how I look before I put it in the oven. And before I add the paprika. Because I like a little paprika on the top. Cause it, it give a nice color too. I like the pap, the pappy pap. <laughs> so there you go. There's there's the pappy pap. We're putting the paprika on the tin top. Like I said, cook it and then broil it. Not for a long time. Just till you get this top. It's a nice crispy top. Not too, not burnt crispy. Just a little crispy. This that's just what I prefer. That's my that's my thing right there. Mm-hmm. Let's try to bust that thing open so y'all can see how creamy it is. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I can smell it. I can smell it. I swear I can. It's crazy. Now, silly me decided to do this when I freshly got it out. Like, you see the smoke. Hold on. You see it? You see the smoke. Like, I burnt my fingers. Like, I was burning my fingers right here. Like, I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to do this, but I really wanted y'all to see it fresh, especially. Look at that creamy dreaminess. Go on and make this spinach dip, y'all. I love spinach dips. Love, love, love. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.